Uh, my name's Nick Nevin. I'm the director of Terry. I'm Ian Duck and I play Spencer, as you know. As you know. As you know. <laughs> as you do. Here we are, gorgeous West London, sun shining, and we thought we might take you on a little uh, on a little uh, tour of the locations that we used on the film. And I think first of all, maybe would, would be a good start is to take you to uh, Terry's house. Te Terry's squat. Terry's squat, you know. which actually belongs to a very good mate of mine, and I've heard he's hung over, so I hope. Well, let's I hope, hope he's, he's up. <laughs> let's, hope he's, let's hope he's awake. <laughs> all right, so if you'd like to follow us, let's, let's do it. Go. Nice, 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 nice. Hello, mate. Nice. Yeah, my name's Dan, Billy Black. Yeah, you're right. A uh, man with Atkinson, Charlie Woods. I've okay, been out here for too long, man. He ain't answering his shit. Yeah. He's not answering it. Well, who uh, wants to ring the magic doorbell? This is, this is, um, this is the location I chose for, uh, for, for Terry's house, uh, number 28. Well, I think that you won't notice, but we've done it especially for you. Like we, we changed the steps to make it a bit, a little bit, a bit more posh. You know? <laughs> if you notice in the film, the steps were a bit grimy, but that's how we like. Well, he's it. had an overall, isn't he? He's, he's, he's got the money from the, he's got his paycheck from the film, and he's done his steps up. This is actually the doorbell. <laughs> this is actually one of the first scenes in the film, actually. Uh, Manuel, yeah, yeah, he, he rings the doorbell, and Terry doesn't answer exactly the same way. Well, that, uh, de deja vu, though. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I'll probably go for a couple of grand on eBay, I think. <laughs> there we go. Hey! Oh, she's awake. She's up. Easy. <laughs> Easy. This is uh, Matthew Leviscotti, who Hello. plays Dave, who plays Dave nice. in the film, the fan heater guy. Yeah, uh, welcome to Terry's. <laughs> welcome to Terry's, right, here we go, <laughs> <laughs> It ain't changed much, has it, really? No. You got rid of a TV, mate? There yeah. was two TVs in yeah. here when we were filming, do you remember yeah. that? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, what happened, what happened to the other TV? We you sell it or? I shot it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, if you remember in the film, like Terry comes over, over here, and he uh, he spits in the sink, which I won't do, which I won't do this. Actually, it's really funny because uh, uh, when I spat in the sink, I I, I remember there was a, I just I just heard Matthew just go, like I heard him gritting his teeth that I just spat in his sink. You know what I mean? It was fucking funny. Well, in all honesty, Matthew. Bust, you know? Well, in all honesty, Matthew actually does have a bathroom, but we didn't want to show that in Terry. Yeah. You know? <laughs> <laughs> we also filmed the other scene in here with the. Um, Fan with the fan heaters, uh, which uh, which is actually my favourite scene in the film. Well, I think it's, it's the most realistic. Exactly. It's, 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 yeah, it's yeah. just like a group of lads, uh, banter. Yeah, and he's, and he's the only one wearing a big big duffel coat. I know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's high because summer. And he's, he's wearing like some big massive jacket. <laughs> I, mean, I, think that, I think that says it all about Dave's character. Fan heaters. Come on, am I not hot enough? I mean, like, Funny story about that actual scene is um, as we were filming it. it Ian's Ian's phone goes off in in the actual um, in the yeah, scene in the tape. And uh, if you listen, if you watch the scene back, he goes uh, Ian, and he keeps full credit to you, mate. He keeps in full character, you know. And he goes, yeah. And the geezer on the other end of the dog and fucking got a clue who he was talking about. And he goes, if you listen to it very carefully, Ian goes, oh sorry, 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 like that. Yeah, expecting us to cut, but we never cut. So, so oh, good, yeah. he goes like that, he goes, alright? Yeah, I'm around at Tell's house. And if you listen carefully, you can hear the other geezer on the phone like, who? Yeah, got who? Clue, He's like, what? He goes, yeah, I'm just with uh, uh, Terry and Dave and camera yeah, boy. Like, what? We go to a party. We go to a party. He's like, are you up for that? He goes, yeah, yeah. He's like, he hasn't got a clue what I'm talking about, but he's up for it. The other thing that was quite funny about it was, um, was the fact that you were like, yeah, we're just cutting up a live for Dave, and, and I swear I could hear him go, yeah, sweet, bring me in, or something like that. <laughs> what kind of people are you hanging around with me? I, 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 I just met him in a pub down the road. Yeah. Like. <laughs> um, not, not being unprofessional, I, I didn't realise that my phone was on um, to, to help me out there, you know. Um, no, but it's all credit to you, mate. You know, you kept in full character, yeah. and I thought, you know, I, it was I mean, well, I, well, I, well, I had lived it. I used it to my advantage, and I thought, well, I was a bit nervous at first. I didn't know how, how well it would take, but obviously, the end, the end product, it was beautiful. I think, mm. and it worked. And credit to the guy as well because he kept up with it, although he didn't have a clue what was going on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I think he's, he's done it right, hasn't he? Another thing I want to say about that scene um, was was Matthew. Obviously, I wanted to use his house, so it'd be rude not to fucking chuck him in the film. I thought, <laughs> you know what I mean? Kind of like. <laughs> Can we trash your house for a little while, make it look really scummy, and then, uh, and then your payment is to <laughs> yeah, be and your, and show your the world, uh, and your payment is to be a fucking cokehead in Terry, you know? But I thought he was fantastic. You were actually really good in that scene, and as I've told, I've told you guys a thousand times, you know that that is one of my favourite scenes yeah, yeah. In, in in the film, and it's one of the first times as well you see Charlie Ruiz actually start 
piping up a little bit. He's asking yeah. people like, yeah, how do you know, how do you know yeah, Spence? Yeah. You know, how do you know Terry? You know, he's asking. He's getting more inquisitive. I thought, you know what I mean, at that stage of the of the game. Dave, how do you know? How do you know these guys, Dave? How do you know? Do you know Spence? So, well, I think that was one of the, the fundamental points of the film as well, isn't it? To watch like. Charlie's changed from the beginning when he's too timid to even sort of open his mouth. He comes mm. knocking on your door, barely says a word to you. You know what I mean? What was what's your line at the beginning piece about? Was it silent movie and all that? Oh yeah, exactly. And he's not even. Yeah, absolutely. I mean? By the end of yeah. it, like I mean, anyone that's watched the film knows, like you know what I mean, yeah, that man's no, getting more than involved. Uh, we had a couple of other scenes to do that day, and uh, we had these lot waiting outside, causing outside the house. And they were fucking loud. And it was 11 o'clock in the morning. I think everyone was hung over from the night before. <laughs> a couple of people might have cracked open a sneaky... I'm about, I'm about yeah, to a couple of people cracked open a sneaky lager just to fucking steady their fucking hands because the shakes <laughs> were out, you know. Uh, not mentioning no names for no one. But, um, but these guys were so loud outside. And basically, if you remember in the film, I've got to call Mank Liam. He um, spent the character, yeah. Spencer, yeah, he, 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 call, yeah, yeah. he goes, call, call, call Mank Liam. You know, he's waiting for me in the pub. So as, we're, as, we, as we exit the scene, I call Mank Liam, but it's not Mank Liam, I'm calling his phone. My phone isn't it? And because he's so out, out, off the nut outside, he doesn't answer it, <laughs> right? So, so I'm like, nothing cut. but professional. Oh, bro. yeah, of course, yeah, 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 yeah. I think there was a couple of chicks out there as well, he's fucking blatantly on a chirps anyway, fucking. <laughs> so I'm just like, yeah, hello, you know, he's, uh, you know, oh, he's not there, he's not there, he's not answering his fucking phone, and I got the right arm, and if you look at my face, I'm actually <laughs> really pissed off. He's not fucking answering, fuck it, come in. And I come out there, and the minute we shout and cut, I fucking turn around. I was like, "Why are you fucking not answering your phone, you can?" <laughs> Do you know it was? The locals turning up, though, man. Fucking hundred and one boys end up. What are you not doing out here? What's going on? Yeah, you know what I mean, well, that's the other We're thing. Shouting them out for filming in the area that you know, and everyone knows you. You know, you get people coming up to you all the time. You know, so oh, what are you doing? What bring me in? That like, da 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 da. So it was a bit. It was hard to keep everyone tamed and everyone on a. You know, yeah. everyone who's meant to be there, be there, and who's not meant you know to be there. Also, I remember well, you looking like a like a, one of them them homeless dudes, man, with a big bag full of clothes in it. Yeah, that's right. You had changed yeah. for one shot there, uh, one shot down yeah, there. He's yeah. walking around with his old world. Well, that's that's it, well that's, that's it, you know what I mean, obviously, uh, who, whoever, yeah, you, 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 oh yeah, fuck it, you've got to spend no, 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 no. If you've seen the film, obviously, you know we didn't spend a fucking million pounds on it, well, yes. we did, but that went, <laughs> that, that went the way of all good things. That went, <laughs> <laughs> how many Oyster cards we fucking lost and fucking broke and God knows what, and, and like, to keep these lot in fucking food and lagers and God knows what, you know, <laughs> I mean, the, the caterers, we had an agreement right there. Well, yeah, the caterers, that, that was the amazing. agreement, man, right yeah. there. I mean, I do like them caterers, you know. Mm -hmm. You got to say, man, he's lucky he knows a good bunch of people, man. He didn't have to offer us too much, like. Yeah, I mean, yeah. keep the lava flowing, you know, like. Well, that's it. Fun. Well, Barbecue yeah. Barbecue on the roof, do you know what I mean? Just keep yeah. us fed watered like we was happy. Yeah. 266 beers. Sorry. <laughs> £2.80, bloke. Yeah, 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 £2.80. That's not home, bro. It's not even a lie, man. <laughs> that's something we cottoned on to the deal there, mate. Telling you. Okay. On to the next location. Just to uh, show you how lazy I am, We uh, the next location is just around the corner. <laughs> Okay, and this is uh, this is the um, the alley where uh, Skid Row. Yes, yeah, Skid Row. <laughs> <laughs> this is where Charlie Rue is. Uh, I think in the, where where he uh, finally becomes a man. I it's think. A grown yeah. man. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I, I think yeah. that, that it's the scene where you finally see Charlie become more like Terry, more yeah, like yeah, Spencer. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. I think. Well, you, do you know what I mean? Definitely. It's where you know. My initiation. Yeah, yeah it's, 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 it's the initiation, isn't it? It's like you know the the, the two crackheads tried to steal the camera, and. Um, and Charlie gives him some, do you know what I mean? Yeah, <laughs> that's a little pom thing. And yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Pointing exactly. in the right direction. Absolutely. And I just want to say thank you to the two guys that played the uh, played our crackheads, uh, Luca especially, who uh, took one, took a fucking beating that day, man, you know. The floor, it was all, the floor was all it's wet and that, you got back. completely very hot. Oh, yeah. Because it was, you know, we filmed in the summer, you know, and, but it was pissing down with rain all the time, remember, and, and the floor was just so wet and, and, and grimy, you know what I mean? And, and he took a pounding on this floor, man. <laughs> Which was right here, actually. Where that dog stuff Oh, why that dog shit? Yeah, I Which think, was, I think which was right against it. Where it was it? Charlie, Charlie Rose uh, opened that one in, give him a few digs. This is one of the shots that we had to do um, while, uh, while, while we were doing that other shot that we just spoke about in there. These lot were out here all hung over and that, all hanging about. 
Um, the poor guy was taking a kick in and these guys are all laughing and shit, always getting in shot. So we had to do it about five, six, seven times because these guys were all just cracking up over there and the poor fellas on the floor getting a beat down. Coming in mud, man. You know. Oh, it's funny as hell. <laughs> and Ian came up with a classic um, impro line, obviously, where he goes... Do you want to tell? Nah. And for a split second, I thought he was going to do it. I thought he was going to whip out little Ian. Method actor, mate, you know what I mean? No, but you, this guy, this guy can piss on cue, right? <laughs> and you'll notice that in one of the scenes... That's true. That's true. When we're in the pub toilets and uh, we're going to do a bit of line, the actual, the, the sound effect, it's not a sound effect, it's real. <laughs> this, guy, <laughs> on cue. this guy can piss on fucking cue. So anyone out there doing any movies where you need a pisser, if you need a pisser, just get him. <laughs> so, when, so when he fucking said, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to piss in his face, I honestly thought, <laughs> seriously, for a split it. second, Good he was going to whip out little duck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always gonna whip out his little duck and make a face out of him. Right, are we on? Are we rolling? Are we going? Are we good? Okay, so uh, on to the next location, uh, which we could walk, but we're all, you know, big in the game now. <laughs> <laughs> so, this is when you made it in life, you know. This is where you see the budget really goes. Here we are, the next location uh, on our on our magical mystery tour, uh, which is the uh, Greyhound Pub. Um, which is a uh, number of scenes. Obviously, we meet Billy Black here. One's my water in hole and all. It was. <laughs> Dan's actually barred from here now. So curricular activity. So he won't be. Uh, <laughs> uh, so he won't be coming in and joining us on the inside. I think for me as well. Um, I like this location because uh, this is where we met Sophie. And um, <laughs> so, had a so, whale of a time. So, we had a whale of a time with Sophie. This, this is a brilliant. Actress. Kim. Kim is. Uh, Kim's a very good friend of mine. She's. She actually. She did fantastic. On this job, I thought <laughs> the things that she done, you couldn't in pay. Name you, art. you couldn't yeah. pay someone to do it that good. Do you know what I mean? Actually, the Greyhound is um, quite fundamental to the film as well because it has quite a lot of um, dramatic scenes in there. Obviously, you get to find that out after you mm. watch the DVD. Well, it's their local, isn't it? It's yeah. it's uh, it's their local pub, so you know it's it's where all the, all the madness happens, really. Yeah. All right, so uh, we're going to go inside and show you a little bit of the inside interior. Uh, uh, Dee's gonna, uh, D going to uh, going outside, waste some time. Mr. Burtonshaw's going to hang out outside as he's not as he's but, not allowed in. So uh, the, the interior is all like, different now, though. As well, yeah, the interior is different. Had a refer, so so we're ready? Let's go. Let's go inside. I'm an actor. I'm an artist making moves. I'm the bosses. You know my name is Arnie, but the man them call me Snakey Man. I'm an actor. I'm an artist making moves. I'm the bosses. You know my name is Arnie, but the man them call me Snakey Man. I blow Z cars. Got a stack piece. Got to get an A class. I'm fat and a trap. This is the uh, this is the luge. Oh, okay. They've got, got a toilet seat and a toilet now. I'm not sure before, did, did they have, um, was it your runner wheel? I can't remember. No, no, it was, it was, it was, was the same thing. Was it the same thing as that, was it? Okay. Yeah, no, it was exactly the same. I think they might have changed the thing, but it still was the same. Yeah, yeah, you know. yeah, yeah. This is where they, uh, if you come through, this is where they've they they done the liners um, on, this, on this thing. And if you've noticed, they put this panel here so you can't. You know, you can't do, uh, you can't chop up any naughty stuff anymore. I think, uh, I think the graffiti looks the same, doesn't it? Yeah. If you look at the graffiti, yeah, look at this. It's coming through. Oh, that's that, I think, um, on that location. Yeah, 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 yeah. So obviously, uh, something. It's where Spencer saying obviously bad happens to him in there. Uh, that sounds a bit dodgy, doesn't it? it? Does sound a bit dodgy. I think if we cut out, it doesn't something bad doesn't happen in in in, in a funny sense, um, in a dramatic sense, I would have thought. Yeah. Cool. Do you want to ask that location? Let's uh, let's move on. Um, as you can see, we're all knackered. We're all knackered. I'm fucking shattered, man. Every time I come out here. And this is actually where I came up with that sarky line about Billy being so skinny because he had to climb all these bloody Listen, stairs. Man, I can hear you. Man. I know. Yeah. This is this is uh, my roof where we done the uh, infamous barbecue scene, which. Uh, Ended up going haywire. We had to warn the neighbours about uh, a loud bang, bang, yeah, the bang, the yeah, bang, the loud, loud bangs and uh, all that. We actually had a, we had a, we had a tannoy that day. Do you remember? Yeah, we yeah. Had a, and I was, I was getting all high and mighty on my director's chair, in it, like proper using it for no reason. Do you know what I mean? Okay, get everyone. I had to post up bloody notes all down the alley as well, warning yeah. people that they was going to wear, you know, because we live, uh, we live, what, we sorry, Dan, <laughs> Dan, Dan lives uh, right next to a police station, which is just up the road there. So. Uh, 
we didn't want the old bill coming down. It was a, it was a it one was take, a... innit? Do you yeah. know what I mean? We had one chance, one chance only. And, uh... and it started raining just before that as well. Yeah, it? yeah. That's where Dan came up with that line, you know, it happens every year, you know, British summer, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Obviously not this year. Because after that scene, after the gunshot, the whole, Terry's whole world changes, I think. Do you know what I mean? He, he that you know, was the start it, of decline it, it's, it's, yeah. it's the downfall, isn't it? Really. Yeah. I, I, I think it was um, because even because even Spencer was still good buddies with Billy Black. So he, although he's, he's the best mates with Terry, he was like on a, on a divide. You know, I'm, I'm still friends with Billy Black. You know, obviously, you know his, his commitments were, were more to Terry uh, as his best mate, so mm. to speak. You know what I mean? And obviously, as you see in a film. This is where actually did go ski with him, did go downhill, I believe. Yeah, yeah. Well, we all hit an element of real realism there because you know what? These people aren't gangsters, and that's what I wanted to come across. You know, they're, if anything, they're petty, petty criminals, if anything. Just everyday so, people. Yeah, just like, everyday like people like just getting on. And, 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 yeah, 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 exactly. Like muggins, man. And, and I think when, when you, yeah, well, when you shoot someone accidentally like that, or even on purpose, you know, you've got to have a really cold heart to go, yeah, and what, lad, what a fucking bang, yeah, I'll shoot yeah, you, yeah, da, da, da. You know, the reaction that Terry does when he shoots him is one of shock and, 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 sh and he's yeah, so, he done, you know, like, what yeah. have I done? You know, what has he done? What have Good I done? Thing. You know what I mean? So it's like, you know, that's the realism of it. You know, he's not like, yeah, I shot him and what? He's, he's, oh my God, I've shot someone. This is going to end up. But it's like trouble. It's yeah. hand now, you know what I mean? It's yeah. spiralling. Yeah. 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 Also, you have to you have to face up to the, uh, the the consequences of your actions. So there was a dire consequence uh, to them to them actions. You know that's that's mm. why we, we said this is like the the major the, the key point to the film where it, it starts to go wrong from here. Basically, when when mate gets popped in the leg, it's all pretty pretty dark, you know, by the end of it, mm. but it was a brilliant day up here. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Really, yeah, yeah, really yeah. cooking well, the yeah. food up. Yeah, yeah I've got to I've got to say, everyone who turned up on the day. And there were a few cancellations, don't get me wrong, but everyone who turned up on the actual day, I thought that they were absolutely fantastic. We, the beer was flowing nice yeah, and, yeah. you know, everything you everything you kind of see in, in the film is pretty much real. Think, we're, think, we're, we're almost real. Really. Another funny thing that happened, um, the, the scene, the, the, the bit where Spencer grabs the bottle of vodka and he goes, I don't like to mix my drinks, but fuck it, it's a party. And he takes a little sip and we had, we had one bottle full of vodka and one bottle full of water. Because there were some people a bit hungover from the night before, and some people didn't want to drink, and I, I was being quite arsy about it because we're on a roof. I didn't want, you know, health and safety and all well, that. I didn't want people with a, with, a, with a gunshot, you know. What well, I mean? exactly, yeah. exactly. Yeah. I, I wanted, I wanted people to take, you know, this particular scene a lot more seriously than than some of, some of the other ones where we where we were joking about a little bit more. And uh, I think Ian uh, took the, took the bottle of vodka, and he was going to have a big swig of it. Remember, we we planned it out, and you were going to have this massive swig. And he took one sip and realised that it was real. Do you remember? And you put it down and you had a little stumble. And then Danny, uh, Danny fucking, Danny grabbed the grabbed the vodka and took two large swigs on it. I, I knew exactly what it was. Yeah. <laughs> and you, that's you were up there, weren't you, yeah, Manuel? Yeah, getting good. When you're saying I look like a film student, like, and uh, it, it is actually probably the best location to shoot the, the roof because you get a little elevated. It makes the roof look a little bit bigger. It, it takes me a couple of minutes to get round everyone at the beginning. Yeah. You know, I slowly come round and you see people one by one, and you see Spence with the big massive joints. That was that. Is a funny bit that, that yeah. always gets a laugh yeah. man yeah. in the film you'll, you'll remember that <laughs> when we burst through the party you know obviously we're not invited or whatever you know we come through the party uh, Terry Spencer and I believe it's uh, Liam Mank Liam mm -hmm. and we come and we come through that we come through the doors of the party and unfortunately the camera goes a bit blurry but you can still make out what's going on there was a geezer in the party who had no, no idea, idea that no we idea. were filming he was just, he heard that there was a party going on and he just turned up for this party and straight away, Ian, as Spencer obviously kept in full character, and the geezer had, it just walked into the kitchen and had a beer, and he cracked open his beer, and Ian and Spencer just grabbed the beer, took it, and then he, the kid turned around, he turned around, he turned around to get another one, and then Liam just grabbed the beer, innit? And he was like, and he was in shock, he was like, who are these lads just turned up to this party? Camera in his face. Camera in his face. To be fair, they were my beers, so he was helping himself, like. Oh, what it? Well, there you go, little cheeky fuck. There you go, I've got to say quickly, I love your dancing in there. I mean, you know, I'll... I'd have to go pineapple for that, mate. That was a three-week course in pineapple studios, mate. It cost me two grand that did, but I got it, I got it in the end, didn't I? Yeah. Um, the toilet scene as well, I think, to my character, for Billy, it's a turning point. The scene where uh, that Dan's referring to is the one, you know, obviously when we go into the park, uh, after the park, we go, in, we go into the toilet and have a, have, a, have a sniff. We actually shot that before the actual main body of the party, didn't we? Because yeah. there was uh, there was no one turned up yet, yeah. so we, 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 we decided to crack on and get on with that. 
and we shot that twice. We shot, we did two takes of that scene. We did one where where Bill um, gets the knife out. And Terry laughs at him, which is the one we actually kept in the in the thing. I'll oh, put that pen knife away. That scene there, and we did one where it, it a bit more serious, where where Terry's a bit more scared of Billy. But I decided to change that because I I, I, I believe that Terry always thinks that Terry Billy's has a joke. Yeah, he has Billy's a joke. Billy. You know, but right. we do see in that scene that Billy actually carries a knife. He's actually a dangerous yeah, fella. That's, 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 He's that's a dangerous that's fella. A good you know, established art where you you, mm -hmm. do, you see Billy black in a different light. You see him, he's pulled out a knife, so you think, well, you know, where's, yeah. where's he going to go with this? Yeah, you know? exactly, exactly. We didn't exactly. see that before, he's all a joke, he's a character, and mm -hmm. people think, you know, he, he's someone to walk over, but really, he's not, as that proves that yeah. scene. Yeah. Thing, the huh? camera that we used, there was a massive debate, should we use, you know, should we go high def, should we make it, you know, really big and bold and brashy with all these cameras and stuff, but would it be real? Would it, would, would it keep that realism? So we decided to go with the shit camera and then even downgrade it more yeah, because yeah. to make it look that rough, yeah, yeah, ready that's, that's thing. What makes it work.